There are two other very important properties of a system that we're going to take a look at besides stability. One system property is known as controllability and the other system property is known as observability. The question of controllability is really can you actually control all of the states of the system through the input channels that you're given. Observability, conversely, is can you observe all the states of the system given the sensors that you have. For example, on the observability side, if I measure position, I can recreate the velocity simply by taking the derivative of the position. So I don't have to explicitly measure the velocity to get the velocity of the system if I'm only if I'm just measuring the position. Let's take a look though at controllability and see how that shows up. We're going to do this by way of an example. So let's consider the following system. Let's say I have two masses that are connected to each other, say M1 and M2, and they're connected to each other through a series of mass of springs and dampers. And they're on a frictionless bearing. And they're also attached to the wall through a, a set of uh, st uh, springs and dampers. Now, this is a little bit more complicated than the system we've looked at with a single mass and a spring, but nevertheless, we can imagine this system being built. And let's say that each system has two forces available that I can use as inputs to each mass individually. And then we can measure the position and velocity of each one of these particular mass parts. Now, for sake of simplicity, I'm going to let K1 equal K2 equal 1, B1 equal B2 equal 1, M1 equal M2 equal 1, and F1 equal F2 equal F. And uh, this is just going to make my life a little easier. Furthermore, in this system, we would measure the position and of mass 1 and the position of mass 2 and also the velocity or the speed of mass 2 and the position of mass 1. And so I have four states in this system. I have x1, x1 dot, and then x2 and x2 dot. And if I go ahead and take the derivative of the state vector, I get x1 dot, x1 double dot, x2 dot, x2 double dot. It's all equal to this big 4 by 4 matrix, 0, 1, 0, 0. We end up with minus 2, minus 2, 1, 1, and then 0, 0, 0, 1, and 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1, and that's times x, uh, plus the matrix B, 0, 1, 0, 1, times the input U. Now, let's let Y equal just measuring the position of each mass card, x1 and x2. So that would mean that c is 1, 0, 0, 0, and then 0, 1, or 0, 0, 1, 0 times x. And then d, of course, is equal to 0. So now if we go into MATLAB, we can go ahead and take a look at, at this system um, by analyzing uh, the step response uh, given a different uh, given a different input matrix B. So now we're in MATLAB. We can define our system using a state space representation. So we have A matrix is 0, 1, 0, 0. The B, uh, and then the second column, minus 2, minus 2, 1, 1. Third, third row, 0, 0, 0, 1. Fourth row, 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1. The B matrix is going to be 0, 1, 0, 1. Transpose C is then 1, 0, 0, 0, and then 0, 0, 1, 0. And D finally is going to be 0, 0. We can define our system using the SS command A, B, C, and D. There's our continuous time system, and now we can use the step command for our sys. And but notice what I'm doing is I'm putting a step input into each of the masses. All right, and so the first mass displaces by two, and say we're in units of meters or centimeters, whatever it happens to be. And the second mass displaces by uh, three. And this would make a little bit of sense when you go back to that mass on a spring with some damping. That if I displace 
this this one uh, this first mass by one unit it moves forward which moves the all of mass two forward which then but I'm also uh, have a command step command into mass two which would move it forward even more so mass one moves a little bit less than mass two now we see that and, and what we notice is that I can move these arbitrarily. If I change the step size, then I would change the displacement of each of the mass. If we put the hold on for this figure, then we change the B matrix to 0, 0, 0, 1. So now I only have an input channel into the second mass. And if I now uh, redefine my sys object using the new B matrix, and I now give the system a step command, and then we look at this figure, Notice that mass 1 displaces 1, uh, whatever, 1 unit, and mass 2 displaces 2 units. So I can, um, I'm displacing mass 2. Now, what happens if we change the step size? Well, the, if we change the step size, that would be equivalent to changing uh, <clears throat> B. How do we change the step size using the step function? Well, first, I'll just type help step and we see that there's options that I can specify and the step data options is the command that we're going to want to use here. So if I say opt equals step data options and then set the step amplitude to 2 and then we run step uh, sys comma options and now we look at this and we see that <clears throat> now what's happened is that the, the step to the second mass has doubled the displacement and then the uh, displacement for the uh, first mass has also doubled and change B back to the original uh, force on each input we redefine our sys and now we do the step using the new uh, uh, step input size, we see that this is now the blue line. The, um, the masses are, this one is displacing by six because this is now displacing by, the first mass is displacing, displacing by four, which is twice as much as in the last case. So basically what we're seeing here is that if I don't have direct control into mass one, I can't arbitrarily change its displacement. It basically is along for the ride when I displace mass two. This would be a case where the position of mass one is uncontrollable. I can't arbitrarily place it uh, in terms of its final position if I don't have direct access to forcing that, that mass location. There's another concept here known as observability, which we're also gonna look at in class which again I said it has to do with can you recreate the state of the system by observing the full state of the system by observing only one or more of the states.